not. <laughs> Ready? Not again. <laughs> not again. Give me one sec. What's up again? <laughs> hey guys, Thamel here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on PvP and in particular Marksman Hunter. I've been getting questions lately from you guys just asking me what my rotation is, like what my opener is in PvP and uh, the general rotation for a Marksman Hunter. I will say that this is not uh, one case fits all sort of thing it depends on your composition and also who you're versing it changes dynamically in PvP it's not necessarily like in PvE where you've got the highest cleave damage rotation and then the highest single target rotation it's all situational sometimes you will use a global cooldown to CC sometimes um, you're going to use your global cooldown to just put on a lot of pressure and burst and knowing when to burst is probably one of the key things in PvP, I will say. The other things I'm going to touch on that um, I've been asked about is talent, uh, my talents and PvP talents that I run, as well as what pets I use for PvP. And then I'm just going to go over some basic add-ons for PvP for people starting off. And please, if, uh, if I miss anything or you uh, would like to add anything, please just leave it in the comments. I know... Uh, there's a lot more experienced PvP players out there. My highest rating is 2.2k, so I haven't actually reached Gladiator before. That's one of my goals to do in Shadowlands. Um, so please help me out as well. Leave a comment. Let me know things I can do to improve my game, but also help um, others as well try to improve their game as well. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start off... Um, just with my rotation that I use right now, I'm playing predominantly with a rogue in 2v2, so our kill uh, window is generally in our opener. We like to get set up for uh, as bursty game as possible, we force them to play super defensive, and if we don't get a kill, uh, we want to try and reset the game, uh, re stealth, and then do this again. <coughs> so, the first thing we're going to open the game in camouflage and what you're going to do is pop uh, my rogue will sap I'll pop my double tap so then we're using that global cooldown you don't need to use that uh, then what we're going to do is use a binding shot that's going to keep that target in place there when so then now I can put down a resonating arrow there I'm then going to be in line of sight while I'm casting my explosive shot on the run the reason why we cast that explosive shot is it will go off in 3.3 seconds. That's exactly around the same time you're going to get all of your aim shots off. So aim shot, um, aim shot, uh, with the double taps up, that is. So basically, you'll go double tap, binding shot, resonating arrow. As you're running to get that loss, you'll explosive shot. You'll then true shot to give quick casting into a double aim shot and then rapid fire. And then by that time, you should be close to either being able to kill shot uh, with the, the pressure from your partner or you go into the arcane shot because you'll have probably two precise shots procs by then and you should get around uh, 4k arcane shots at, at the current item level um, at this time. Um, so that is our opener. I'm going to now say this is not the opener to use against all teams. It's also not the opener to use in all scenarios. So if you're with a healer, your kill window is probably going to be a di bit different. So for us, we need to get a kill before we die. Basically, we're a double DPS team. We have very limited healing. Like we have a couple of uh, cooldowns to keep us alive for a period of time, but we want to. Uh, create as much pressure as possible with damage and as much pressure as possible with CC at, uh, from the get-go. If we fail that, then what I'm trying to do, so um, say I've got my pet out on the target, what I'm trying to do to, to reset, and basically what I mean by reset is get out of combat 
use Feign Death to take off all of the negative abilities and then use Camouflage again. So Camouflage, while you are Camouflaged, you will heal over time. So you may be at 30% health and your target is at 50%, your, your burst has failed, you're out of burst, you've got nothing left. What can you do? You can CC your target, pull your pet back, disengage, get behind a pillar, feign death, get out of combat, camouflage. You're then going to be out of combat, you're going to be healing up, you can see the numbers ticking over, and then you're going to wait for your burst cooldowns again, wait for that kill opportunity. Hopefully you've popped a trinket, hopefully maybe you've popped a bubble, maybe you've popped um, some of their defensives, then you're going to go back in together. This is for a stealth team, in, well my team in particular, the stealth team, but for a healer team you're going to use your burst window after you've popped a trinket, maybe after you've popped some defensives, maybe when you've got a good CC chain going. This is all about communication with your partner, so I do recommend um, some form of communication. We use Discord, um, but whatever works for you is fine. Yes, okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to touch on for rotation. I'm going to go over my talents. Um, so for PvP, this is what I use, Master, Marksman, Explosive Shot, Camouflage, Streamline, Post Haste, Double Tap, and Lock and Load. I use Scatter Shot, Survival Tactics, um, Roar of Sacrifice generally, but there is also Dragon Scale Armor, it's very effective against Affliction Warlocks and Shadow Priests. And then you also have your high uh, explosive trap here. You can change between these talents, they're interchangeable depending on what playstyle you want to have. Um, and for pets, there's really two options you want to have. You want to have a cunning pet uh, that has mortal wounds, and then you want to have a ferocity pet that has mortal wounds. So I have the rodent, you can also have a raptor or a hyena. Basically the reason you want this is for the master's call and the 8% movement speed, uh, as well as, yeah, as I mentioned, the mortal wounds. That's 25% less healing on the target uh, as they apply that Mortal Wounds debuff. So the reason why I say to have a Ferocity pet is it's really just in those situations when you're on very low health and you've <laughs> you've run out of exhilaration, you don't have File of Serenity if you're Kyrian and you can't get a restealth off, um, but you're in a position to heal up. So say you've gotten away from your target you've gotten behind a pillar and your your rogue or whatever partner you're with just got a stun, it's five seconds, you want to get some healing done so you can just attack that target and, and get that leech, 10% leech that a ferocity pet uh, gives you. But you want to get one with mortal wounds as well because uh, that's really effective in PvP. And finally, add-ons. So the one add-on I'm gonna say you really need to get for Arena in particular is Gladius. Um, that allows you to track their, if they've used their trinket, it just allows the frames to be a bit larger, you can customize it, you can move it around Omnibar, so this allows you to track enemy cooldowns. This I'm not very good at using this and this is potentially why I can't break uh, 2.2k but I, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the other classes moves I'm trying to see like oh a rogues popped evasion don't use my double tap aim shot for example you're just gonna waste it so that one uh, is a bit of a learning curve obviously the more experienced players uh, will know what to be looking out for for each class what um, what spells they need to be tracking and then like when they can create their kill window. The other thing I use is Quartz, it's just a casting bar, I find it helpful. It's just this one here, but also I can, when I create a focus target, so for example, if I use my focus target macro, um, that there, that will also create another cast bar for me to track as well. Just keep all my spells in one spot. Then I use Bartender 4, which probably a lot of you are familiar with, um, to customize that. I do also have some focus target macros um, off the screen, uh, pretty much behind my webcam, so you can't see it, so it doesn't look so messy. Um, but 
those basically allow me to CC my focus target while still targeting my kill target. So you, you can see I've focused this guy over here. I could, for example, use a, a concussive shot on him as he's there that went off very slowly but yep you can see I trapped him another thing I can do I can still be attacking this guy I see oh my focus is casting a heal quickly interrupt the other thing I can do oh I need to quickly either interrupt the cast but I don't have my silence or I need to CC the uh, my focus target I can just scatter shot if you are trying to push yourself up you know, maybe your goal is gladiator, maybe you want to get higher than that, then I would suggest creating uh, targeting keybinds. So target arena 1, target arena 2, target arena 3, and then also focus target arena 1, focus target arena 2, focus target arena 3. Obviously this is... Um, you don't necessarily... Like, say your goal is just to get 1800, or say you just want to have fun. Uh, you don't necessarily need to be doing these things. These things are for players that are trying to really push themselves to become better PvP players. Uh, and for some people, that just is their enjoyment. It is, you know, maybe I reach a certain level. But for others, they just want to play for fun. That's that's okay too. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over for PvP and Marksman Hunter. Uh, once again, I'm just going to reiterate please leave a comment if you have more experience uh, and you think I've left something out. Uh, it would help me, it would help a lot of the other players that uh, watch these videos as well. Uh, we do appreciate it as a community. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do want to see more of my videos, subscribe. Uh, and, you know, have a good day wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.